Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today we're going to go through PubMed uh, quickly, looking for how to copy the citation of papers we find in them. This is uh, this is this is always my requirement for students. Whenever they want to cite a paper, they have to cite it in a scientific way, where we can use it in uh, uh, always if we want to refer back to that paper. So we know that we're using PubMed. It's a medical uh, data. Uh, uh, collection of citations for biomedical literature from Midline and from other sources. Uh, so it's a bit wider than Midline. So we're going to put in some titles. I'm going to put in the subject of dentures, and this was one of the, our first homeworks. So we're looking for systematic reviews. Okay. And we're going to search for them. Now, as I told you, I want to know how to cite a paper. Suppose that this was my uh, one of my results that I want. I'm going to take this, and how am I going to cite it? If you look here closely at cite, this is the action button we're going to press. If I press this, you will find this going out as a, a pop-out window and the on screen. Uh, so it pops out, and what does it contain? It contains the authors, the title of the paper, Okay, the journal, the year, the month, the volume, and sometimes one of the uh, uh, divisions of the volume, maybe uh, it could be in a series. So, and then the page number. Okay, this is the, usually the citation you use in your thesis, and you'll be using it in your thesis a lot. Another way, uh, another um, new uh, thing that you will find in uh, PubMed citations are the DOI number. This is an alphanumeric code for this paper. Why do it, why it's why is it needed? Because sometimes the journals might change the way their websites work. So suppose I'm taking the URL of the paper from a journal. Suppose I'm opening the journal and I'm opening the paper. Maybe the journal has changed the way they are organizing the web page. So you will find the URL changing for this paper. So they have now invented this number where it identifies the paper no matter how much or no matter how many times the URL is changed. So it's like a, a unique identification number for this. Okay, how can I use it as a master student? You simply just copy this, okay? If you copy it, you will get it copied. It's on your uh, uh, mouse. You can go and uh, on an application, just paste it there. Another, just notice that there are some uh, formats for this. These are the same information, but they come in different sequences. Okay, so they come the the AMA, the APA, the MLA, and the NLM. What do they stand for? These stand for different uh, different uh, types of citation or different sequence and citation. So the AMA is the American uh, Medical Association. The APA is the American Psychological Association citation method. The MLA is the Modern Language Association, and the NLM is the National Library of Medicine format. So let's change, if I'm going to go and change to this one, for example. Okay, if the NLM, you find that the way it's written, it's different, especially the punctuation and the sequence of these elements. The same elements are there, as I told you, but the sequence of them is different. Now, this is now, uh, for example, this form is the MLA uh, and uh, Modern Language Association. See that you only have two authors only. The rest are in ETAL. The title has apostrophes, uh, sorry, has uh, these quotation marks. The, the journal now is in italics. The volume is written, the sub volume, the, the year now is in parentheses. So it's the same elements, but different formats and different sequences. This is another way of writing it. So where do we use this? We also use it in our uh, uh, publications because we have to know what is the style for the publication, the journal we're publicizing in. So here the punctuation once more is different. So we have the name, uh, comma, then the, the, the uh, initial of the author, then a dot, then another comma, and so on. So this is a bit more sophisticated. If our homeworks, we, uh, we could use the first one and that's it. 
just enough for our purpose and we are okay with this once you copy this you can now have it on your uh, the mouse has it as a copy and you can paste it uh, anywhere you want you also can search for this if you want you need it you can open another uh, tablet uh, ta uh, tab and add it in it and you can simply search for it if you need other places where you can find this. So citations are important when you write your thesis, when you write homeworks, when you also want to present work and you have some papers that you're referring to. So always copy and paste this as your reference list. Okay. Some journals and new journals, if you're going to publish a paper, they also require you to add in the DOI number. So the citation usually ends here especially in thesis, but if you're going to publish new, especially uh, uh, open access journals, require the DOI of the, uh, the paper that you are referring back to, okay? If you want to download it as .nbib, so what is .nbib? This is also another way where you're copying the citation, and the citation goes in a format that stands for the NBIB, this uh, uh, this extension of the file stands for the National Biomedical Informatics, and it's a format commonly used for bibliographic 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 citation data, uh, particularly in biomedical uh, field. And this is uh, compatible if you download it if you you're using EndNote or other uh, bibliographic management tools. You can uh, store them directly there. So this is another file format where you can put into other software working with your references and databases. So this is how we copy the citation simply. And once you download it, this is what you get. Now this reference is now in this format and simply in this format I can add it or open it from the software that I'm using. It's, it's, for example, if I'm using EndNote, okay? So it's now downloaded on my uh, computer. So this is how we do the citation, and this is how this information is turned into a way we can place it inside the uh, my reference list. If we go back, suppose that I need all of this information. I could select some of these information. Suppose I was on this paper and this paper and this paper. Okay, I only want these three or more. I could also send them by also as. Uh, citation manager uh, file, they will also send them as a .nbib uh, file. I could save them as a text. So suppose I want the selection or, all I, or I want all of the results on the page. But what I see on the page are usually only a small amount of the references. If I want all of the results, all of the papers, the 513 papers, I choose this. Say I'm going to use this selection. I create a file and I save it. Now it's in the format of a text. So now you have it as a text and this text you can copy and paste it and it follows the citation, uh, one of the citations, I think the first one, the APA, okay? So this is how we copy citations of paper. Let's just repeat this for this paper. Simply go here, go on site, Take this, see the format that you want. If you are, want to change it, you can change it in between. You copy it and then you paste it in the uh, other uh, paper or uh, document you want to paste it in. Okay, thank you.